Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad, I'm so happy if you're new here. Welcome, today we're gonna discuss about how we can use our HP printer using wireless and a set of wire. So I know most of you encounter a little bit or it gives you a hard time. The process is very easy, like a piece of cake, okay? So in order to accomplish this goal, what we're going to do is that first thing you need to do is that you have to plug your printer to the router, whether you're using home modem or the home router or home switches, it doesn't matter. As far as you're able to access your HP laser jet. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I will click CMD. I just want to make sure that I'm able to ping. The first thing you have to go run and type CMD. In here, you have to type ping. I will type 192.168.1.112. I will say, just keep it. I just want to make sure that this, it's, it's pinging. I'm, not, I'm able to ping. Uh, one of the other things and tips you should remember that, that you can configure these things if you have if the router that you have at home or at office is provide DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol if you doesn't know how to use or if you doesn't know what is DCP and how we can use a DCP so I will definitely put command down below in description go ahead and learn that one as well but I'm sure most of the company or most of the home modem does come with a dynamic host configuration protocol you don't have to do anything just plug your hp laser jet printer uh, to the uh, to the router or to the switch and uh, make sure that your printer is ready to go in order to find out what is your hp laser jet uh, color printer ips you just see the screen of your printer i'm telling you so the digital screen of your printer it definitely give you the ip information it is default from factory default i haven't done anything this is what it is so in order to use and configure wireless and a set of wire we have to come to the network portion probably you may encounter username and password the username is admin and the password is also admin in order to accomplish to access our printer using wireless there is a few steps that you have to do first i have done and i have to make sure that i'm able to ping my uh, hp laser jet or we can say hp laser jet 200 color m 451 um, dw doesn't matter which kind of hp laser jet you're using but this is the same procedure that apply to the entire hp uh, printers all right so i'm here in the network what I'm going to do is I will turn on this one. Turn on, apply. Remember that? Yes, I'm not doing anything. Just I say, yes, I'm going to use wireless. Okay, so I have done. I just turn this one on and then I apply. So here's a little bit tricky. Probably some of you are a bit confused. Look at the Wi-Fi you're trying to connect this printer. It's very important, very important. So you don't have to double click in here. You don't have to right click in here in order to pick the all information. So this is my test lab. I have a Lexus, sorry, Lexus. <laughs> of course I have Lexus core as well. But I have a Linux uh, 2G, this is the SSID. And I know the password, just click in here. So which one is your Wi-Fi? Just find out the SSID, click on this one, come in here. If you are if you guys are using WPA, it's not secure, but I'm using WPA2. Once I get in here, I will keep this one automatically. The encryption, I will keep it automatic. But I know it is AES, uh, Advanced Encryption Standard or Advanced Encryption Algorithm. I do remember the password. Remember that you should remember the password. Let's type the password in here as well. Um, So this is the password, it's good that it's hidden. But anyway, this is my test lab. Uh, let's apply. I just click here, I, didn't, I did not anything in here. I just pick my SSID, 
once I pick my SSID, I type my username and password. And in here it says that it is deactivated. It is not activated, meaning it is not. Didn't be happy, it's not activated. What we gonna do in here is that we really need to unplug the wire from your printer. So you need to unplug the wire from your printer. Let's unplug the wire from my printer and see what's gonna happen. All right, I just unplugged my printer from the wire and now I noticed that my printer is blinking. It is a yellow light, it's flashing, mean it is searching for the Wi-Fi information. So no rush, you have to wait and wait. So in here, if you look at my SSID in here, uh, sorry, in here, if you look at my CMD and my CMD, it shows that I am not able to pick my printer because I just disconnect the wire from my printer. My printer is on, of course, these are the necessary thing. All right, <clears throat> it's unreachable. If, if you look at your printer right now, if you look at your printer right now, the screen, the digital screen, you will see that there is a new IP. So I just received another IP. Let me paint that IP. I want to share everything with all of you in here. Uh, the new IP is <coughs> this is the old, this is the new IP. This is the new IP for my what for my HP Laser Jade printer. So let's type that IP and see what's gonna happen. 192.168.1.133 all right there you go if we come in here you just type username and password if you save the credential it may not ask again the username and password if it asks just type admin admin and login come back to the network when you come to the network you can see the status it is against the dcp everything is okay when you come to the wireless configuration you will see in here a status is connected congratulations guys this is how you can configure your HP laser jade whether it's a black and white color or any types of series of the HP laser jade that you are using this is the procedure how you can use your printer wirelessly and it's a, in a state of wire I'm sure now the people become very picky they then doesn't want too much mess they are trying to use wire or uh, they are trying to use wireless in a state of wire. Let me test print and make sure that my printer is working. Can you guys hear the sound? Beautiful. All right. I am able to print any file using wireless network and a state of wireless and a state of wire. All right, I hope the information was very helpful. Guys, if you think it was very helpful, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe my channel. This is the only way to appreciate my work. And this is the way where we can feed our YouTube channel as well. Thank you guys. Until next time, stay safe, be brave. Until next time, stay safe, be brave. And of course, see you guys next time. So you don't have to do anything. I mean, am I supposed to save it? Am I supposed to just keep it? It's once you apply, it means you save the configuration. And you probably need to close this one and you are good to go.